your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up the everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Say now, come on, let's praise the word of God. Come on, let's create an atmosphere for worship in this place on tonight. We thank the Lord for bringing us back into his house once again. We thank God for this 2023 YPU conference. Hallelujah. Oh, he is Lord. He is Lord. I get more value. He has risen from the grave, and He is Lord. Ooh, every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess. That Jesus Christ is Lord. Oh, He is Lord. He is Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He has risen from the grave. presence tonight Lord our desire is that you would release your power on your people open up the heavens oh God and send down your anointing that with power and that with authority hallelujah come on if you know this song to help us say it says Lord we proclaim you now and your mighty power and your awesome majesty.
Come on, say, Lord, come upon us now. Yeah, thank you. And release, oh, release your power. Let's do it again. They can't hear themselves. Say, Lord.
tonight. We want lives to be changed on tonight. We want burdens to be lifted on tonight. So we ask the Lord to release it. Nobody else can do it. Nobody else can handle it. Nobody else is strong enough. So Lord, we come to you with our hands lifted up and our mouths filled with praise. Just as we worship you, hallelujah, we're going to invite you, amen, to get with the service. Stand on your feet, clap your hands. Lord, you are good, and your mercy endures forever. Come on, if you know it, put those hands together right here. good and your mercy endure forever oh, Lord you are good and your mercy endure forever help me say Lord you are you are good and your mercy endure forever Lord you are Lord you are Lord, you are good and your mercy endure forever oh Lord you are Lord you are
got a feeling everything's gonna be all right.
several years ago when we were having youth conferences I had a situation where I wasn't able to attend medical issues weighed me down and I had a playlist that said sooner or later three car accidents brain tumor sooner or later I've never, I've never heard it sung that way, but I really loved it. He did a wonderful job leading us in worship. I've never heard someone sing that song like Deacon Chief until now. But it made me think about my situations, past, present, and future. I believe you have situations that you're thinking about right now. He said that it's going to be all right. He said, I know it will. Then he said, it's turning around for me. It's turning around for me.
We have a task. We have a task. Sometimes it's difficult when you got things on your mind right now. But we give honor to God. We thank God for this precious day. We thank God for the things he's already turned around. We give honor to God. We thank him for this holy day. We thank you, people of God, for taking the time to join us on today at the House of God Youth Conference. 2023. He's turning around. The theme for this conference is listen. We thank God for this this opportunity. We thank God for his precious gift of the Holy Ghost that leads me and guides me every day of my life. I'm Elder Rashawn West, Rashawn West the second. honor the chief apostle apostle thomas e clark and our first lady black lady francis clark we honor the assistant to the chief board of apostles chairman our apostle g randolph daly and our lady daly we honor our apostle raglan and his absence and his spouse we give honor to the board of apostles and the college of bishops we give honor to all the ministry. I give honor to my queen, General Secretary Jessica West, and my princesses, along with my prince. I honor my grandmother, who surprised us this, mo this afternoon, all the way from Los Angeles, California. And we honor you, the people of God, especially our young people. This is Youth Conference. Youth Conference 2023. We thank God for the opportunity to stand before you all. We don't take it lightly. We want to carry on with the service as the program sees fit. But we will be led and guided by the Holy Spirit. Last but not least, we honor our president. Let's give some love to our YPU president. Our Bishop Brian White and his companion, Lady Felicia White. Give them some love. We will now proceed with the furthering of the service.
will now have the opening remarks by our the chief by Chief Apostle Thomas E. Clark Jr. While you're standing, I want to remind you of something. The earth is the Lord's. And all they that dwell therein, from your little piece of real estate, wherever it is, your house, your apartment, wherever you live, it's sitting on God's land. We reverence Him today. The fullness of everything that is belongs to God. Amen. And we've just come by today to say thank you, Lord. Six days we've labored. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. We come by today, God, to say thank you. Don't lose sight of that. There are a lot of things going on in the world, a lot of things going on that are not so great, not so good. But always remember that the earth, even when men choose to fight in the earth, war in the earth, it's still the Lord's. And we will rejoice there, There's something special about this day Some of you have been sick Had economic financial problems but God's been good through it all. Amen. 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 This declaration is very simple. I'm glad to see everybody. We had a wonderful pre-conference night last night. And we're here to celebrate. I do follow protocol. Honor to God. And to our Apostle Daly, Apostle Raglan, and their wives respectively. To my wife, to the College of Bishops, and to all of you that make up this audience today, to every pastor. I'm just excited to be here with you. For everything that you've gone through. And I, you know, you're just kind of sparkling tonight. You're looking good. I heard one of our bishops say last evening that he contracted prostate cancer, but that's gone. You've got a clean slate. That's what happens when you honor the fact that the earth is the Lord, everything that's in the earth made by him. And the Bible says that not anything that was made he made everything. He made everything. There was not a thing made that he didn't make. I kind of like serving a God like that. Amen. It is my good pleasure. Are you ready? It is my good pleasure to make the declaration to officially open this 2023 annual youth conference of the house of God.
make the declaration, Bishop White, that this conference is open. And I say, Lord, you're welcome in this place. Lord, you're welcome in this place. Lord, you're welcome in this place. Amen. We thank God for you. Bishop White, we're looking for a great time. We had an opening pre-conference night that was off the chart. And I can't imagine what else God has in store for us during this conference. God bless all of you. Apostle Clark for opening this meeting officially. Um, we will now have the, a greeting by our brother Shim Jocelyn. praise the Lord. We praise the Lord. God is great and greatly to be praised. From the rise of the sun to the going down the same, he is worthy to be praised. We give honor to God who is the head of our lives, to the ministry, the respective places, to the chief apostle and to the assistant chief. I greet you all in Jesus' name and to the young people of the YPU Council. Well, Bishop, I mean, sorry, while a chief apostle was going forth, this scripture came to me. Psalms 24, and this is my encouragement to the young people too. The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein, he, for he hath founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who shall stand in the holy place? He that have clean hands and a pure heart, who, who have not lifted up his soul into, unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, for he, he shall receive the blessings from the Lord and his righteousness from the, God, from the God of his salvation. This generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. So I say unto you, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of kings, the King of glory, shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. So lift up your hands, 
all ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. So whatever you're going through in this season, you keep listening to God. He will take you out of every situation. He hears your cry. He hears your struggles. He sees everything. But look up for your rejection dry nigh. Seek him where he may be found. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Brother Jocelyn, all the way from Toronto, Canada. God bless you, sir. It's offering time, saints. We're going to ask our finance committee to start making their way up. But first, we want to thank you. Thank you for how you all continue to support this organization. Month after month that your local state meetings and your district meetings, and our national conferences. And as we prepare to take up our offering here for our national YPU conference, we ask you all to be a blessing to the house of God. It's our custom to ask each individual to share in $100. I'll definitely be the first partaker. Earlier today, we had an opportunity to share about finances and budgeting and preparation saving and sinking funds and and uh we know youth conference comes every year so we pray that you have taken some of those some of those tips and come prepared to sow into this great house the monies that you share keep the lights on keep the pews blue keep the electronics on for the the organ and the keyboard helps me speak out of this microphone and allows the church to purchase new ones when these ones go bad. We're not able to put on a wonderful conference such as this and the one in, January, in, in October and July and March without your help. So we ask, will you please sow a seed tonight? Our chief apostle will come as we share in this offering because we have a leader that leads God's people. And he doesn't ask us to do anything that he's not willing to do or double. So with that being said, we turn it into the hands of our Apostle Thomas E. Clark for the remainder of the offer. Praise the Lord, saints. It, it, it's so timely that uh, Elder Rashawn made that comment. We just replaced two heating and air conditioning units just before this conference. So things would be comfortable for you. The temperatures have begun to go down here in Kentucky. Amen. And uh, we need heat. Those things do cost. They do cost, and, and this building has been here 30 plus years now. So it is in the process of depreciation, amen? Amen, things wear out. So your gifts in these meetings help us maintain this wonderful campus that God has blessed us with. And I hope that you will share and boost this offering tonight. I brought my checkbook. And I'm going to do what Elder Rashan mentioned. I'm going to start the offering with $100. And as many of you that will follow through with that, it will be greatly appreciated. This is not about gimmicks. I'm not going to tell you that you're going to get a windfall next week. That an angel is going to appear before your bed in the night and give you a message from God that that you've made a you 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 that there, there's a there's an estate somewhere for you and I'm not going to say any of that I'm simply asking you to make a special gift in giving to support this church it's interesting I don't know how much research you've done how much research you do on other organizations and churches and and that 
but many, a lot of religious organizations put a lot of pressure on people to give. Some of those are sometimes borderline things in terms of what, making promises to you and telling you that God's going to give you this if you do seed money. I'm just asking you to give to support the church. We need you. So I'm going to open with $100 uh, in this offering tonight. And as many of you as will give a $100 offering tonight uh, for this church, would you stand, please? If you're not able to do it, I understand. God understands it. And there's no fault here. But if you're able to give $100 in support of this conference, I promise you we'll be good stewards with your money. Be good stewards with your money for the Lord's house. This church has had an honorable reputation over the years. Its previous chief apostles and leaders in the church I don't know of any scandal that has come out of this church in the leadership of our national church that brought a reproach on the legacy of this great church. We really do do our best. So is anyone else who wants to stand to give $100 in our offering tonight? You spent a lot of money to get here. Some of you flew. Uh, airlines to come here. Some of you rented automobiles. You're staying in hotels. And I understand the cost of that. You know why? Because I do it all the time. I just got back from Jamaica for their conference just the other week. So I know what travel expense is. There's not a budget for me to do what I do. I know what travel is. I know what staying in hotels is. I know what eating in restaurants is. So I have great respect for that. But if you're able to give $100, would you do that? Anybody else? If you're not able to give $100, I hope that you will do your very, very best, whether that's $75, $50, $25, whatever you can give. It is restricted money to help this church. Let us stand. Father, I thank you tonight. I thank you for the opportunity to give. I thank you for the blessings that you've placed upon us. I thank you, God, for the gifts that you've given us. And as we prepare to give tonight, I ask that you will bless all of those that are giving. Those that are giving the $100 gift, that you will bless them. Those that are giving based on what they're able to give tonight, we ask your blessings on them. And Father, there may be a man or woman here tonight that's broke, doesn't have a dollar, doesn't have money to give. I ask you to consider that person as well, that you will open your merciful doors for them financially, that the next time that they come to your house, they'll have a gift to give. Thank you, God, for the opportunity to give. Thank you for all of those that are going to share these blessings I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Those of you that are giving $100, would you come down first? All of you that have given $100 and maybe you've thought about it and reconsidered. And you want to do that. If you would like to give me a cash app, dollar sign, house 866. If you would like to give me a Zelle and PayPal, it is finance at houseofgod.org.
we will now have a selection by our sister Taylor Will Willis. Thank you.
much more. I'm not a singer. Honestly, I can barely remember the words to a lot of songs. But as she talked about needing more, a song came to my mind that says, fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up. Fill my cup, Lord. And make me whole. How many of you need more? Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Sister Taylor. We appreciate that reminder that we need more of the one who gave us his all. Hallelujah. We need more of the one that gave us his all. I need more of you, Heavenly Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I need more. Hallelujah. I'm sorry, I just... He gave us everything he had. want to sow into our speaker my place is to lead and guide the service so we want to call on our finance team as we prepare to sow into this man of God our elder Taekwon Sparks a great friend of the house of God for many many years he has walked with us on many levels and I'm so excited to hear what he has to say I've had the opportunity just on short occasions to spend time with him outside of the church and he wasn't cussing and he wasn't talking about the ladies. I know this man has labored before the Lord and we want to give him what is due. The scripture talks about the laborer is worthy of a hire and sometimes we get tired of hearing those things. But I've given... Steve Jobs and now Tim Cook a lot of my money unfortunately I've given McDonald's and those franchise owners a lot of my money I've given Amazon 
and Jeff Bezos a whole lot of my money because they provided something for me. Something that I appreciated. But this man is about to provide something that is invaluable. He's going to provide us with something that we don't have to wait two days for Prime to get to our door. He's about to feed us with the word of God right now. And we want to share with this man of God before he shares with us. So we ask you to be a blessing to our man of God. We ask those that are willing. We would like to start this offering with $50. And those that are able to do the same, we ask you to please be a blessing. If you'd like to give more, we won't hinder you. Because we want to sow into the man of God. But please come accordingly with what God has given you. If you would like to give electronically, you can give via cash app at dollar sign house 866. Venmo at House of God Inc. PayPal Zelle Finance at houseofgod.org. If you're watching virtually and you saved hundreds of dollars on those airline tickets, hundreds of dollars on that gas money, hundreds of dollars on hotel and restaurants, don't forget to be a blessing. You're now in the hands of our finance committee, ushers, and musicians. God bless you all.
Amen. We thank everyone for your giving. We're going to ask you all to stand as we sing Father in Jesus' name. Father in Jesus' name. Father in Jesus' name. back in the hands of the pulpit. We'd like to thank everyone for their giving. Um, before the introduction of the speaker, we'd like to acknowledge any visiting ministers to, to stand. like to acknowledge Pastor Philip McFeeters and Pastor Justin Barnes. <laughs> Express your excitement for the word. True excitement. And you are now in the hands of evangelist Stephanie Wallace. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. I need some people in the house to give God praise. Praise the Lord, everybody. Now, everybody, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have a very important task tonight. Protocol has been established. Amen. I do want to give special honor to my pastor and Southern District Superintendent, Apostle David L. Wallace, Sr., and Lady Carolyn Wallace. Amen to my husband, Brother Jonathan Wallace, and to the people of God. Amen. I am here to introduce our speaker, the Elder Taekwon M. Sparks, a devoted man of God, hailing all the way from the vibrant city of Columbia, South Carolina. As the eldest son of Apostle P.F. and Lady Dorinda Chambers, he stands as a pillar of faith working alongside them in the service of Victory Praise and Worship Center in Columbia and Sumter, South Carolina, where excitement is the breeding ground of miracles. Elder Sparks is married for the five blessed years to Lady Kimberly Sparks. God bless you, lady. We see you online. Not only is Elder Sparks a dedicated husband and workman of the gospel and, and a commandment keeper, he is also a national recording artist with the soul-stirring hit, Things Are Working, available on all music platforms. God bless you. His passion for the gospel extends and exceeds beyond his music. It is as tirelessly as he travels the country. He preaches, teaches, and serves the people of God. Please join me and a warm welcome for my spiritual brother and my friend, the elder Taekwon M. Sparks. God bless you. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. His truth endures generation 
great is our God and greatly to be praised in the city of our God in the mountain of his holiness oh beautiful situations if it had not been the Lord who was on our side it is a privilege a pleasure to be in the house of God on this YPU convention we honor the Lord and I want you to help me celebrate God for the law of justice by standing please we thank the Lord for the commanding chief the law of justice chief apostle come on Thomas E. Clark Jr. Let's make some noise. Come on, give God praise. And to the assistant, to the chief, Apostle Daly, let's give God praise for him. Apostle Raglan in his absence. The board of bishops and all of the presbytery that's graced this rostrum tonight. And to the first ladies, come on, Lady Clark. Lady Daly, thank God for my dad in whom I serve under. It is where I am accountable to leadership. I have a covering because anything that's not covered becomes spoiled but I have a pastor which speaks of my accountability. He's watching. Will you give it up for Apostle Patrick Chambers? To my mom, Lady Chambers. Come on, give it up for her. To our national YPU president. Come on, Bishop Lady White. God bless you. Angelus, they've been so kind to me. We're going to pray momentarily. And you may be seated. They've been so kind. It's just nice to be nice. Evangelist Stephanie and Brother Wallace, come on. Thank you so much. To my lovely wife, she's watching. Lady Kimberly, will you thank God for her? have many friends here and we thank God for you as well let's give the minstrels a hand the Lord bless you minstrels just let me probably hear E flat I probably you there maybe C sharp but you stay right there quick E flat amen let's pray it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed his compassions fail not they are new every morning great is thy faithfulness father I understand that apart from you and without you I am nothing but with you all things are possible to him that believe Lord I believe help thine mine unbelief holy father in the name of Jesus Christ we pray that you would be glorified tonight let the devil be terrified. Let the people be edified. We silence demons and devils, witches and warlocks that would hinder the free flow of thy word. Father, get all praise tonight. Refill us again tonight. Baptize us again tonight. Oh God, be my eyes to see, mouth to speak, ears to hear, hands to touch. Go from heart to heart, hand to hand, breast to breast, wall to wall. Shake this place for your glory. For your glory, I'll do anything. It's in the powerful, precious, purifying, mighty, marvelous, matchless, merciful name of Jesus. It's in Jesus' name. If you love the Lord, 
don't do it because I said it but do it because he's great give him a great praise tonight we thank God for the preachers on last night pastor and our minister deacon but give him a great comedy I shall about give him a great praise right there come on bless him house of God come on it's the queen of the week bless him right where you are come on praise him take another 30 seconds oh bless the name of Jesus oh bless the name of Jesus oh bless the name of Jesus oh bless his name bless his name bless his name will you tell about two or three people and see how they respond and I believe that the correct response will cause God to move for you by in the morning tell them I cried in it but I didn't die in it I'm trying to find the right section tonight tell someone I cried in it but I didn't die in it come on let's have a quick testifying service tell them after all I've been through where's my section tonight tell them I still got the victory tell them I'm still saved where my saved young folk I'm still sanctified and baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost will you help me praise him for the Holy Ghost right where you are come on I said praise him for the gift Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Tell somebody I've been through storm and rain. Woo-boo, I made it. Tell somebody I've had many heartaches and pain. But oh, oh, I made it. streamers I cried out hallelujah thank you Jesus ah, tell somebody I made it will you tell somebody on the other side of the room I've been through storm and rain Come on, tell somebody, you can make it. Tell them, that trial that you're going through, God's going to show you just what to do. You can make it. Tell your neighbor, tell a friend, you can make it. Clap your hands real fast and say, I don't care. Young people help me sing. What's going wrong? Tell somebody, God won't let it last, last too long. High five two or three folk and tell them, you're not in this thing alone. 
you can make. Tell somebody you can make it. Put hands on it. Come on, balcony. Put hand clappers. I need hand clappers. I need mouths opening. Come on, take another 10 seconds. Come on, praise the God of our salvation. Come on, Israel, praise him. If I was in South Carolina, my granddaddy was saying this, said it's just like fire. Oh, tell somebody, said it's just like your way down. Tell somebody, said, I'm bound for Mount Zion. Yeah. And it's way out on the Shiloh Temple, you're blessing us and we thank the Lord. I wrestle with this word and praying and um, staying up, making sure that this is what the Lord was not trying to say, but is saying in this hour. Can you say amen? The book of Hebrews chapter 2. The Lord is going to challenge your heart, and then you can celebrate a little later on. But he's going to challenge your heart tonight. Amen. Hebrews chapter 2, <clears throat> commence reading from the first verse, ending at verse number 4. Therefore, we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard lest at any time we should let them slip. For if the word spoken by angels was steadfast and even transgression and disobedience receive a just recompense of reward, how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? Which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him God also bearing them witness both with signs and wonders 
and with divers miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost according to his own will. I would like to magnify the first verse, Atlanta clause, less at any time we should let them slip. The word of the Lord is tonight the danger of drifting. I want to talk for the next few moments the danger of drifting. Will you repeat those words please? The danger of drifting. Sisters and brothers, I'm very much convinced that listening is so imperative to life and relationships because every conversation can be an opportunity to learn something new, not only learn something new, but build a foundation of trust whenever we treat listening as an active process and not a passive one. We must, brothers and sisters, listen to learn. Listen to communicate. Listen to assimilate knowledge. Listen to resolve conflict. Listen to build trust. Listen to get an understanding. Listen to gain direction and instructions. Too often we really don't like when someone asks us, are you really listening to me? Because the question really implies that our attention is somewhere else. So we get offended because we got caught. And someone has to check you. I know you heard me, but are you listening to me? Thank you. There's a vast difference between hearing and listening. My wife happens to be an English teacher. Many times in the classroom, she's given instructions for the class, maybe 15 students, maybe 12 students, saying it more than once. Not all students, now you got to understand that all 15, all 12 of the students, they heard what she was saying. But not all 15 or 12 students, come on, listen to what was being said. Some heard it, but they were hearing it with noise and sounds coming in their ears. They heard it, but their comprehension were clouded and crowded by an iPhone or video game. They heard it, they heard it, they heard it, they heard it. They heard it, but they didn't listen to it. Sisters and brothers, listening requires us paying attention. Listening requires us to be astute. Take heed, giving thoughtful consideration. We must understand tonight, sisters and brothers, that hearing doesn't always result in an action. But listening always does. Listening is when we use our ears to hear rather than just letting our ears hear. Revelation said it this way, he that have three and twenty-two an ear to hear let him what hear what the spirit said unto the church sisters and brothers spiritual truth and transformation comes by revelation that brings a response i want to tell someone in this room that our ears must be anointed to hear tell someone for the first time in the sermonic presentation tell them god anoint my ear Jesus many times in the gospel sisters and brothers echoed
echoes the same phrases in the book of Matthew chapter 11 verse 15 he says he that have ears to hear let him hear in the book of Mark chapter 4 verse 23 if any man have ears to hear let him hear in the book of St. Luke chapter 14 and verse 35 if it either fit for the land nor yet for the dunghill but men cast it out he that have ears to hear let him hear Having ears to hear, sisters and brothers, was a common idiom that referred to those whose hearts were ready to act upon the truth that they heard. Thousands, sisters and brothers, they were impacted by the ministry of Jesus, but only a handful of those thousands had ears to hear. Jesus said in the book of John chapter 6 he explains to them who he is and then John records the same message he says will ye go also away but then he says Simon Peter answered and said where shall we go because thou hast the words of eternal life Somebody shout, Lord, please open my ears. Shout it one more time, Lord, please open my ears. We know we're hearing when we are aware someone is speaking, but we also know we're listening when we respond to what someone is saying. My question tonight in this YPU meeting, my question tonight in the house of God, my question tonight for every praiser in this room, for every young person that's seated under the sound of my voice, I need you to be honest with God tonight. Not only honest with God, but I need you to be honest with yourself because in AAA meetings, you must first admit that I am an alcoholic. Somebody talk to me. How many times I need screaming? maybe somebody who can be honest how many times sisters and brothers have we heard the word of God but we did not listen to the word come on how many times the preacher preached to us but we did not respond to the word how many times we heard it but we did not apply it we heard it but we went back to the same old lifestyle we heard it but we went back to the same old way we heard it but we did not do anything with it don't you remember the book of St. John chapter 21 the Bible lets us know that after these things Jesus is the sea of Tiberias it's the same sea the same disciples the same boat the same savior he's on the sea of Tiberias brothering and the text says that he manifested himself again somebody shout again he manifested himself again to his disciples on the sea of Tiberias come on the location was the sea of Tiberias and he manifested himself again one more time he manifested himself again the location was the sea of Tiberias I need five screamers God said to tell two people in the room who can praise him manifestation is about to hit your location I need phrases I tell your neighbor manifestation is coming manifestation is coming uh, and there's a man in the text by the name of Simon Peter uh, and the text says that Simon Peter said unto them he says I go a fishing uh, I hear you Bishop too good thank you brother he says I go a fishing huh? and they said well if you're going we're going with you let me stop put a quarter in the meter huh? let me tell you there's a lot of folk can go upstream with you but very few folk can go come on a lot of folk can go downstream but very few people can go upstream uh, can I get help somewhere in the room tonight he says I go a fishing uh, not the problem sisters and brothers that I have in the text is this uh, uh, there was nothing wrong with fishing fishing was their occupation uh, but the problem that I had the reason why for two streamers the reason why they caught nothing uh, is because they were trying to do it without God uh, who am I preaching to tonight in this holy young people meeting uh, I don't care where you go what you accomplish uh, it's in him that I live 
yourself move have my being you can't do nothing without God can I take off my coat of pastors all right tell somebody you can't do nothing come on without the Lord clap your hands and praise him will you Ah, sisters and brothers ah, come on they went fishing but they went without Jesus and catch this and they caught nothing Uh and the text then says uh, Jesus then tells the boys he said "Uh, did you catch anything Uh, oh God I praise your wonderful name Uh, he said did you catch anything he said what I want you to do Uh, he says cast your net come on on the right side Uh, the problem that I have and this is it I'm going to move the reason why we are unsuccessful is because we're doing it on the wrong side Uh, oh God I praise your wonderful name Uh, tell somebody you're doing it on the wrong side Uh, I want you to hear my heart tonight hear the word of the Lord tonight Uh, come on come on hear the word Uh, come on get on the edge of your seat Uh, put your cell phone down hear all Israel Uh, the Lord our God come on I'm back is one sisters and brothers many times we hear the word but no transformation Uh, I'm going to preach my way through this tonight Uh, I said many times you hear it Uh, I've heard it myself Uh, but yet no transformation Uh, you hear it but you still mean Uh, you hear it but you can't speak to folk and we're in the house of God if you mean I really don't want to get in the house if you're mean I don't want to be you hear it but you're still nasty all right come on we hear it but you have no love for your sister or your brother you hear it but you got clicks and gangs the only time you stand is when your church get the microphone Uh, you can't celebrate nobody else Uh, you can't clap your hands for nobody else Uh, but when you get the microphone it's like crack to you you get happy somebody else got it you on your cell phone looking around picking daisies Uh, come on somebody else is playing the music Uh, you can't push them but then you want somebody to push you what if I do the same thing that you do to me as if what you're saying is not important come on and come on we hear the word but we're still fighting each other why is it house of God that I'm going to fight you when you are my sister and brother Come on, we're commandment keepers. It ain't a lot of us. Some of y'all church ain't got nothing but two folk in them. Y'all ain't shouting to me. And you want to fight me? Come on. Sisters and brothers. Come on, we hear the word. But we're still trying to love the world and love God. Uh, let me ask you this how many times uh, how many times have we struggled preachers please help me uh, somebody please help we got the Holy Ghost how many times musicians please help me we can talk later but how many times have we struggled with the sacred and the secular How many times? How many times? Kamaro Shanda. How many times? How many times? Have we given up conviction for convenience? Lord, I better close. There's a lot of walking going on. I better walk. Oh, let me close this. I said, we've given up. They taught me the only time you don't walk is preaching, praying, and prophesying. Y'all remember that? 
we did not walk in church. I'm moving, I'm moving. <laughs> but how many times have we given up conviction for convenience? You knew it was wrong, but because it felt good for the moment. Uh, but somewhere I read in the book of St. Matthew uh, uh, chapter 16 verse 24 left side y'all still awake uh, he said if any man will come after me uh, bishop uh, usher uh, cook chicken in the kitchen uh, fry french fries if any man will come after me you got to give up something you want to keep the cake and eat it too Huh? Tell somebody it's gonna cost you something. I'm coming. Huh? Oh my no cobra. Huh? Uh, I don't want a neighbor get a death. We'll get there. Huh? But it's gonna cost you something to stand up for right and righteousness. When it's not popular. It's gonna cost you something. Tell somebody it's gonna cost you. So, so then brothers, we can't just talk about it, we got to walk about it. It's not enough. Huh? It's not enough, house of God. Huh? It's not enough to have your head covered. Huh? Your long dress on. Huh? Come on, come on, your suit on. Huh? Come on, church. It's not enough. Huh? It's not enough. Something we got to walk it out. We know who you are in here, but in Walmart, we don't even know who you really are. You dress a wholly, totally different person. In here, you covered Walmart. <laughs> And then you got a problem with me because I'm looking. Huh? But in the book of Romans, can I have 17 more minutes? Please give me 17 more minutes. In the book of Romans 12, when I beseech you, I beg you, I beg you, I beg you, I beg you. I never read where Paul begged anybody to do anything until I got to the 12th chapter of the book of Romans. He said, I beg you. Romans 1 16, he said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Jesus Christ, it is the power of God in his to everyone that believes. Romans 5, Romans 8, we love Romans 8, don't we? 18, for I reckon that the sufferings, verse 28, and we know we shake our head, run around the room, act like the Tasmanian devil. Come on, come on, and we know that all things work together. Come on, Romans 10, my heart's in prayer to God for Israel, is that they might be saved, they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. But when I got to the 12th chapter, he said, I beg you, YPO! I'm pleading with you by the mercies. Can y'all praise him? You don't have a Mercedes, but he gave you mercies. God help me tonight. Huh? Present your body as a living sacrifice. Be not conformed to this word. Be you transformed. Transformation. Come on, gives us a word. Metamorphosis. Be ye metamorphio. By the renewing of your mind. It, 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 come on, it describes the transformation that a caterpillar goes through to become a butterfly. What God says we got to do, you got to change. Come on, church. You got to change on the outside until you look like what you are on the inside. Tells man, I'm changing on the outside until I look like what I am on the inside. Come on, 2 Corinthians 6 17. Come out from among them. Huh? Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. Huh? We are in the world, but we're not of the world. Huh? I'm glad to be different. Huh? I don't have to get with a click or a gang huh? come on church huh? to know who I know who I am huh? you don't have to call my name huh? come on church I know who I am you are a chosen generation I need 50 streamers royal priesthood Huh? Not yet, Jalen. I'm coming. I'm coming. Huh? Uh, holy nation. Huh? James 1 tells us, he said, be ye doers of the word huh? and not hearers only. Because if you do it, you will deceive huh? uh, your own self. Shout at somebody as a neighbor. We got to do it. We got to do it. Huh? Uh, tell somebody again, whatever you do, please don't drift. Tell them, tell them, don't wander. Don't stray away. Get in the house of God. All right. Huh? Lift your hands and shout, I refuse to go back.
<laughs> you may be seated if you get up one more time I promise you I'll close so as we study this pericope thank you Bishop too good as we study this pericope tonight in the book of Hebrews chapter 2 we find the first of five passages in this book it is the second encouragement passage that is found in chapters 3 and 4 is the third chapters 5 and 6 it is the fourth in chapter 10 it is the final one and in chapter 12 each encouragement pastor, passage sisters and brothers is designed to motivate the believer to move forward in their walk with God uh, so he starts off by stating in the text he says the writer begins he said we must pay more careful attention uh, more careful more careful attention therefore to what uh, we have heard uh, sisters and brothers now whenever we say come on scholars uh, whenever we say or see the word therefore uh, we must really stop and find out uh, what it is therefore come on uh, the word therefore uh, is pointing back to what was previously stated uh, the author is drawing a conclusion uh, uh, it's in Hebrews chapter number one the writer demonstrates that Jesus is better somebody shout he's better uh, come on he demonstrates the writer demonstrates that he's greater than the Old Testament prophets because he's the creator of all things he's the redeemer of mankind he is the high priest uh, that's why the writer of Hebrews tells us we must pay more careful attention huh, to what we have heard in other words what did Jesus say uh -huh. because I'm very much convinced tonight uh, that if we don't pay close attention uh, if we refuse to listen uh, it will cause each of us to go down a spiral road uh, and there's one word that will hit your life it is neglect uh, sisters and brothers neglect leads to drifting God help me tonight uh, I said neglect leads us uh, to drifting uh, uh, the picture is painted uh, the right of Hebrews paints uh, the picture is very interesting it's very intriguing uh, because the writer views the believer as a boat uh, I said the writer views each and every believer as a boat. Somebody shout a boat. Uh, how many people know that a boat uh, can be attached securely and safely to a dock? Uh, but if you untie the rope and let it go, uh, the boat will slowly uh, drift down stream. Uh, that's what happens, sisters and brothers, uh, is whenever we stop paying attention to the voice of God. Uh, son, person, can I have just a little more? I'm struggling, please. Uh, and I'm going to give you a thank you so much. Uh, whenever we thank you, whenever, uh, sisters and brothers, we stop paying attention to the voice of God, uh, we slowly begin to drift. Uh, come on, you know how you're drifting. Thing. this is one way you know how you're drifting uh, you don't come to Bible study anymore uh, your job takes preeminence uh, uh, you know the pastor can't see your pastor don't know you'll go to church you go to job and work on Friday night uh, think nobody won't see you uh, you're slowly drifting uh, then you take your personal consecration becomes secondary you're drifting uh, at your neighbor's a neighbor have you been drifting lately uh, neglect leads to drifting uh, drifting then leads to disobedience uh, I got to cut across this cornfield. Uh, disobedience turned into sin. Uh, I'm talking about sin 
that is deceitful. Don't you remember what David said in Psalm 51? He said, I acknowledge my transgression. Help me house. And my sins are ever before thee. But one thing I'm coming. He said, create you. Created me. Uh, a clean heart uh, and renew within me the right spirit uh, but then he said restore unto me the joy of thy salvation uh, but then he goes down in the text he said whatever you do uh, take not your holy spirit from me uh, uh -huh. do I have anybody in this room tonight uh, uh -huh. who can just lift your hands uh, and you need to tell God to oh Lord uh, say oh Lord I came tonight uh, just to tell you any way you bless me uh, give me two more minutes I'll be uh, satisfied uh, I want you to tell your neighbor say neighbor uh, that's another sign when you know you're drifting uh, because I'm looking at some of y'all because really you've lost an appetite for the word uh, that's how you really know you're drifting uh, some of y'all just waiting on the 113 and the 3 three four the click track comes on and then you wake up y'all ain't saying nothing but I wish I had somebody in the house tonight who loves the word more than your necessary food shake your neighbor's hand one more time shake them and rock them and rock them and reel them and reel them and shake them and say oh neighbor I'd rather be in the word than to be in heaven because the heaven and earth shall pass y'all waiting on them see shall pass away but the why of our God uh, shall stand forever. Uh, David says, Thy word, O oh God, uh, have I hid in my heart uh, that I might not sin against you. Uh, uh, you ought to high five your neighbor uh, and say, Oh, neighbor, uh, the word still works. Uh, come on, help me preach two more minutes. Uh, high five your anybody and say the word still works man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God don't you know the word is milk for a baby the word is meat for the growing the word is bread for everybody because Jesus said I am the bread of life the word is honey are you listening many night the word is a light the word is truth the word is a mirror the word is water and my grandma would get happy and she would say in the old church Jesus is a well of water springing up in my soul grab your neighbor's hand and shake them and rock them come on and rock them and reel them and reel them and shake them and say neighbor the word quenches the word is a seed the word is a hammer the word is designed to build you up and Jeremiah said it's just like fire shut up in my bone I came to 
tell you disobedience leads to punishment I got the closed house of God thank you chief apostle Clark thank you apostle Daly thank you bishop white thank you YPU for giving me a chance tonight but I'm clothing but what I love about the text it says our salvation is not just a salvation but our salvation is a great salvation tell your neighbor say neighbor the salvation that he gave me is a great salvation salvation is great because he is the only one come on he's the only thing it's the only thing that everybody needs and because he lives I can face tomorrow because he lives all of my fears are gone tell somebody salvation yes sir it says how then shall we escape I came to tell you the word escape it points out a situation of great trouble but aren't you glad salvation is so great until the word said the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run therein and they are saved the saints of old would say it they said you can have this whole wide world but give me Jesus and I need some young person to be honest tonight just lift both of your hands up and say I'd rather have Jesus you can have the houses and land silver and gold but give me Jesus and one thing my grandmama told me if you call on Jesus tell somebody he will answer your prayer I got the clothes but tell your neighbor one more thing say neighbor there is a remedy there is an antidote for drifting that's what we gonna celebrate say oh neighbor there is an antidote for drifting come on everybody let's fly there is an antidote for drifting and the antidote is take heed to what you heard the antidote is if I delight myself in the Lord he'll give me the desires of my heart the antidote is the stop of a good man are ordered by the Lord the antidote is is found in Psalm 1 blessed is the man who walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly nor standeth in the way of sinners nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful but his delight is in the law of the Lord in his law does he meditate day and night and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water the antidote is no weapon that's formed against you shall prosper the antidote is draw nigh to me he'll draw nigh to you the antidote is touch not handle not y'all don't like this preaching taste not all right There is, my, my time's up. There is an antidote for drifting. I'm going to ask very nicely. We're about to pray. If you have to walk, go ahead. After that, respect the presence of God that's in this house. So go ahead and walk now. We're about to pray. Number one, Apostle Chief, I know just in studying, and I'm mature enough now in God, I've been preaching for quite some time. I'm 
37, so over 25 years I've been preaching. About all my life. And I know the word that God gave me would be a challenging word. I need five mature folk. Every word that God sends you is not designed to make you shout. If you just come in the YPU meeting to shout, you ain't getting nothing. Because some of y'all shout and going back to do your own thing. You ain't got nothing. You haven't changed. Your countenance haven't changed. You haven't transformed. For five screamers, some of y'all just come up for a hookup. That's why you, you come into the meeting so see who you can get to go back to the room with you. That's what you coming for. The preacher can preach till he's sweating. And some of y'all still going to do what you want to do. But the wages of sin is still death. I don't care whatever kind of doctrine they got. The wages of sin is still death. Hell is real. I don't care who said it ain't real. If hell wasn't real, why the words that all the nations that forget God shall be turned into hell? If hell ain't real, please tell me. My prayer is this, is that when the men of God last night, the word convicts you. Please get this out of your heart and your mind. If you didn't dance, it does not necessarily mean you didn't have a good time. I don't know where y'all get that from. Because you because you ain't buck and the click track didn't come on. We ain't had nothing, man. I ain't got nothing out to serve. No, you came for entertainment. Not for transformation. I remember that we're about to pray. And um, if the word of God hits you anywhere, if, you, if you're yearning for more of God, I want you to come. And uh, we're not going to coerce you, make you come. You got to have a desire. How is your desire? For more of him, less of you. That's what we came. But when I was a little boy growing up, I ain't heard but preacher pray. I ain't really heard no jubilee message yet. Bishop got up five hours on the Sabbath day. Five hours. After we had them preach, catch this. I'm a young preacher. I love Jubilee and praise. Oh, say yes, Lord. Grab a few people's hands. Run around the room. Then the bishop gets up. All right, did we enjoy the young man? I want you to sit down. I got some truth to tell you. Come on, y'all remember that? Five hours. Talking on what? Sin. Come on. That's what it means. Hell. Fire. Brimstone. But now, if we talk about that, you think we are dogmatic. Oh, you're in the legalism. No, we're not being dogmatic. We're telling you the truth. And the truth hurts. The truth will cause you to be offended. And the reason why you're offended because you're in your mess and you need to get right. If the word of God never pricks your heart, if you never come to the altar, there's a pull on your heart. Maybe we are drifting slowly. If the altar call is calling, you got to look around and see who's going first. Maybe you're drifting. As if you don't need the altar. You are immune from the altar. But there was an antidote tonight for drifting. If I delight, there's something we must do, young people. We must make God happy. We must make God proud. If I delight myself in the Lord, he'll give me what? The desires. Clothes, cars, cribs, as the preacher said last night, all of those things will be added. I pray that this word that you've heard would jug and tug at your heart. 
not just a shouting or feel good, but something that will make you think, man, if I don't get my act together, if I leave here and die tonight, man, people dying left and right. I can see you tonight, but you're gone tomorrow. It's not promise. So we must make our calling. And election show. I didn't come to YPU meeting just to play. Anybody can play church. All of us can play church. We did it as children. Speak in tongues, dance around the room. All of us can play church. But at some point, when are you going to stop playing? When are we going to stop playing and grow up? Get all this other stuff out of the way. I don't like him. You know. Get all that other stuff out of the way. He's not my favorite preacher. You're not word driven. You're really personality driven. Who cares who got the microphone? If God is talking to whoever is up, I'm open to receive. But because the reason why we can't receive a 17 streamers is because you're in the personality. And if the person that's up is not your cup of tea, you ain't going to receive nothing. You're drifting slowly. But thank God tonight for the antidote. Thank you, Bishop White. Listen. Will everyone please stand by Kope Barasavadai Ban Shikotabad? I feel God in this room. I felt his presence last night. I felt the power of God last night. The altar is open. This is the call. If you need and want more of him, more of God, I want you to come quickly. If that's you tonight, I want you to come. Don't, don't play now. I want, want you to come. If there's some areas in your life that you're drifting away, whether it's word, the study of your word, your personal consecration, you left that, you disobeyed God in that area, I, I want you to come. Come quickly. Y'all clap as they come. We're still in E flat. The altar is open. C sharp. Will you come now? The altar is open. I need. My granddad was saying this. The altar. If you're looking around, you're the one that need to come. I need the. The altar breaks your will your pride the altar breaks arrogance let God break you tonight whether you're praising worship leader I don't care what your position is I need him oh bless they're still coming me now my sin Y'all clap as they come. I come to Oh Yada Basha. They're still coming. Y'all clap. I come to thee. House, I need you to be instant. I need my prayer warriors. We're about to pray momentarily. They're still coming. They're still coming, y'all clap. I need him. If you need him to refill you again, will you come? The oh. He says, I'm refilling, restoring, rejuvenating. I need thee. They're still coming, y'all clap. Andabaha. Hey. Every hour. Come on, house. Oh, bless me, Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. bless me now. My Savior. But I come. If you love him, come on, clap. To where my prayer 
praying young people? Where my praying young people? Children, where my 5 a.m. prayer folk? I need my 5 a.m. 12 noon. One more time. I need. We had our prayer hours. Come on, 12, 3, and 6. The I'm looking for the praying part of the church. I need thee. Oh, God, help us tonight. Huh? <laughs> 
Hallelujah. Ushaba babayata. Onala basana bio. There's a yearning. Lay your hand on the belly. There, there's a yearning down in your spirit. There's a, I hear you. There's a yearning show. There's a mekanda lebonoya. There's a yearning down in your belly. Jesus, 
Jesus, I want to be renewed. Jesus, I need to be refilled. Jesus, baptize them up. Oh, shamo, ta ta. So, get all over. Get in it. Come on, come on, come Come on, 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 come come on, we got about five more minutes. Y'all clap and say, oh, God. Come on, come on and plunge in. 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 There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's vein. Sin is plunged beneath that flood. Lose all their guilt and stain. Somebody say, Jesus. There's a fresh, a renewing, a restoring that's on the inside of you. He said, I'm going before thee. He said, I'm going before thee. He said, I'm going before thee. Hey, hey. Your prayer has come up before it. Your yearning is not in vain. Somebody shout, Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm almost done. Come on. Oh, I see ya. Fresh anointing. Somebody point your hand this way. Fresh anointing. The Holy Ghost is all over. But God's going to use them even the more. Clap your hand and say, it is so, it is so, it is so, it is so. Thank you, apostles. Huh? Thank you, apostle chief. Thank you. Huh? Can I have five more minutes of mind your star? Huh? Oh, man, I, y'all clap your hands. Huh? Oh, some on a toy. Huh? Come on, clap your hands. Now clap your hands. Don't get tired. Don't get sleepy. Don't get hungry. Point your hand this way. No, 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 no. Point your hand this way. Apostle, I don't know who this girl is. But I, I want you to point your hand this way. Mohisha Mofakai. Hold it. I don't know who she is. But there is an anointing, and I need y'all to praise him. The Rohakadish. My angel just walked in the room. But there is an anointing for success upon this young lady's life. I'm talking about academic. Mohorebakatai. Academic success shall rest upon her. He says, I'm going before thee even to the college. And God says, Maho Shora Bavanda. He says, I'm going to give you favor in the college. Come on, y'all clap. Even favor with professors. College professors. God says, because you gave me a fresh yes tonight. And he says, don't worry about money. Mahoshalama. He said, I'll take care of that too. And I don't know who this is, but he said, because, yeah, there's a woman, but there's a man like James. Sofa, sofa, zaba, zaba. Uh-huh. And this woman that prays because they pray. You're gonna see the hand of God. Somebody open your spirit and clap your hand. Y'all ain't doing nothing but just looking. I said, open your spirit up. I said, open your spirit up in here. And I need you to run out of your seat and tell two folk, tell them whatever you've been praying for the Holy Ghost that is already done. Go ahead. I said, run and tell two folk. I got to give you up, but I feel something rubbing. I feel something in my feet. Oh, top, top, top. Come in, sir. Come in. Come in. I need you to do something. I need you to do something. Just run. Run that to the wall. Y'all clap your hands for him. Come back here. Come back here. Thank you, Apostle Chief. I'm glad I'm in the house of God where the Holy Ghost moved. 
I want y'all to praise God for him. I don't know what it is, but God's going to use him in the basketball. Sports. Oh, sports is going to rest upon him. I want y'all to help him dance for one minute. I see a scholarship. Somebody go ahead and pray. Oh, Shama. I said pray. Shanto. I said pop top top. I said top top.
only thing I want you to do is help me praise him because I believe that by Sabbath there's a miracle with my name on it. Somebody go ahead and praise him. By Sabbath death, I'm going to get what I came for. You better put your hands on it. I'm in a commandment keeping church.
Somebody say, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody say, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that the Sabbath was not made for man. I pray for a spiritual atmosphere because I realize the enemy is loose. Sometimes some of us can't see it because we're so caught up into what we're doing. But I declare there is freedom in Jesus the name of the Lord is strong hallelujah is a strong tower no other name given under heavens whereby hallelujah whereby men must be saved but then the name of Jesus y'all forgive me but when I came up in church when they said Jesus now we got to push people to say Jesus but his name alone is effective why the Lord is moving the devil is too seeking who he is but I got I got saved some of y'all tried to deny the name You're trying to walk away from the name but it was Jesus His name is so much power that it can drive castle right down that you didn't know you had. I'm just a firm believer. You better get him in this day. Time is winding up. Jesus is on his way back here. And if any man hear my thoughts, we come here we come in church and 
I'm, I'm great moved, but we come in church and we want the church to hurry up and end. How you want the church to end, and this is the place where you can get life. word tonight what a word tonight hallelujah the name of the Lord I, hey you hey hallelujah see y'all want to play with it but if you call it on too many times I'm trying to tell you, young folk, if you call him too many times and you mean it from the heart. Somewhere I said I went to a meeting one night. My heart wasn't right. Something got a hold to me. Hallelujah. Let me stop because some of y'all look cross at it. You have denied your deliverance. I'm just believing right now. Ain't nothing to talk about but Jesus. And why are you dancing if you call on Jesus? Why you clapping your hands and you call on Jesus? If you're on your knees, why you call? Some of your mind is ahead.
we're going to try, hey, we're going to try to move on. When I'm asking the Lord, get in some of y'all mind, get in y'all spirit as you lay down tonight. I told y'all, if it's real, you don't need no music. try and move on when we thank God for the word tonight I said we thank God for the word tonight I pray that it arrests your mind and I pray that you will yield to the Holy Ghost Some of y'all sitting up here, you don't know what to do. You don't know how to express yourself. Just open your mouth. He said, if you open your mouth, I'll feel it. Closed mouth don't get fed. I said, a closed mouth don't get fed. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Anybody got it? Some, hey. Some of y'all say y'all got it, but you ain't moved. But hey. the Holy Ghost make you move. Sit down. Some of y'all look more like this. I promise you tonight, if somebody lifts your hands right now into the presence of God, somebody's going to get healed tonight. What they saw, what they thought they saw, they're not going to see it. I just declare tonight that when you get up in the morning, you're going to be renewed. I declare tonight when you lay down tonight that worry won't be on you. I declare tonight, I declare tonight in the presence of Jesus that no weapon formed against you. Shall I declare tonight? Some of y'all got daddy issues. Some of y'all got mama issues. Some of y'all got children issues. But I'm glad tonight you're going to be able to shake that thing off. And the Holy Ghost see issues. Get the Ramsey. We got to go in there. Woo! Hey, thank you, Holy Ghost. I just feel a hey, I just feel a mighty deliverance in this house. You you can't tell me how you how about higher? Yes, God. I, hey, hey, I, 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 hey. See, when I came up, when we got the Holy Ghost, people had to carry us home. We, 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 we spoke and we tried to shut up. But, but John Bass said, like fire! Shut up in my bone. 
And you know what? When you get the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost will teach you how to dress right. Holy Ghost teach you how to take off some stuff. Holy Ghost teach you how to tame your tongue. Some of us say we got the Holy Ghost to have the Holy Ghost for 30 years and still don't know how to shut up. We just got to say something. But after a while, the Holy Ghost is going to tame your tongue. Because blessings and cursings cannot come out of the same. Your language, your language tells who you serve. Can I say that again? Your language tells who you serve. So if you can't stop cussing, if you can't stop lying, then we know who your God is. But Jesus left the remembrance. If you would repent and turn from your wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. I forgive your sin. Hallelujah. I'm just edifying. I ain't preaching. The preacher done preach. But I won't see folk delivered. I don't care how cute your clothes is. How fine your shoes are. I want to know, can you love your enemies? Can you love the one that hurt you? Uh-oh. It's easy to love folk that show us love. But we, can we love them folk that lied on you? You bless them to despitefully use you. <laughs> Some of us need to learn how to apologize. Well, we're going to move. As I come to the fact and realization, it's not going to be real for you until you submit yourself to God we thank God please go home again I'll tell you like I told you last night go home let this marinate the word is so penetrating hmm. hallelujah thank you chief apostle thank you saints of God this is not a showcase it takes a lot of work to do this well, more important, we want the spirit of the Most High to be in our midst. Amen. Do you love God today? And if you love him today, you will listen to what he's saying to the church. Amen. St. Andrea, we got any announcements before we move? Hallelujah. We're going to let you go. We want you to come back in the morning. Amen. For Sabbath school at 1030, our elder Frank West was supposed to be the superintendent, but he is sick. He's sick. He's ill. Uh, our elder Brand is going to take his place. Amen. And uh, we got some more things going on tomorrow. Praise the Lord. Just a few announcements on tomorrow. It is the consecration of our young men under the direction of our Bishop Jerry is too good. We, amen, you can clap for our young men. Sabbath school, as uh, president has already stated, is at 1030 under uh, the leadership of Elder Brand. Um, we're asking that on tomorrow there will be reserved seating for the families of the young uh, men, the 13-year-old men. Um, that So will be this front part will be marked off for the families. I believe we have 13 young men for tomorrow. So that's a significant class. And we're truly excited for them. Uh, this one more announcement, and that is uh, concerning our young ladies who will be turning 16 
by May 30 of 2024. You are invited to register for the 2024 House of God Girls Consecration Program. Now listen really closely. The application is to be submitted by December 30th, 2023, which is at midnight. So if you're not submitted that, you need to do that as soon as possible or see our sister Michaela Smith. She's still here. Oh, there she's there up, up in the front, um, in the back, excuse me, in the balcony. So you ladies that are going to be turning 16, you need to see her ASAP. Amen. Uh, Sister Ashley Palmer. I'm not for sure if she's having rehearsal tonight. I just want to clarify. Did she say? She is. Okay. So young people, please immediately go to the choir stand so she does not have to be out too late tonight. And we thank you for the announcements. Amen. Amen. Thank you again for all your support. Uh, I do want to say one thing. I thank God for my father. It's the one, the greatest man in my life. Amen. I thank God for young Deacon White. <laughs> Amen. 83 years old. Amen. I'm glad to have him. Come on, stand to your feet. Chief, you have anything else? In, y'all have anything else y'all want to say tonight? I just knew after that pre-conference service we had last night, I knew that God was going to do something special tonight at our conference, and it was just to so. So we thank God for all of you. Uh, we thank God for uh, our president, uh, Bishop White, and we thank God for everybody that's been a part of this service. This has been a very special service, and I want to thank uh, Elder Sparks for that message tonight. And I know we were all blessed by it. Uh, he gave us a very simple subject. We just don't want to drift. Amen? Amen. Amen. Thank you, uh, YPU. Uh, this is all I have. We've had a powerful service. I don't want to tamper with anything that's been said or done on last evening or tonight. So let all of that saturate you, and we'll come back tomorrow for our Sabbath day service. Let us stand. Just real quick, it's the rehearsals for the praise team, Amen. not the choir, just the praise team. Amen? The praise team, not the choir. Amen? All right, let us pray. Father and eternal God, we thank you for this service tonight. We thank you for the word uh, that was powerful, that reached us in a very special way. We ask for your protection as we leave the sanctuary uh, and bring us back here tomorrow for the Sabbath daylight service. Again, God, thank you for loving us to share the word that you have done to us uh, in this meeting. Uh, these prayers I pray in Jesus' name. Now the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. God bless each of you.